Shabbat Shalom. My name is Yanai Segal. I was born in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. My name is Sally Haftel Nave. I was born in Medellin, Colombia. Uh, I, we both of us live in Tel Aviv, Israel, and this exhibition is uh, called Revisiting the Rockefeller, and it's an exhibition that we curated at the Rockefeller Museum of Archaeology. The work we're going to see is a piece by Alona Bode called um, if, I'm, if I'm a prince and you're a prince, who's going to drive the donkeys? Actually, it's a reaction, it's the artist's reaction of this wonderful room which includes the, the archaeology from the Isham Palace, the bath of Isham Palace from the 8th century uh, uh, from Jericho. And uh, it's all, it all was done a sculpture made uh, of stucco. And Lola would uh, um, actually use the iconography of uh, the palace, the bath, creating um, <clears throat> kind of um, uh, interpretation, bringing a, a ready-made sculpture of a waitress. It's a, med uh, it's a ready-made sculpture of a waitress. Uh, the one is one piece that you can find in many, many popular restaurants. Uh, the idea was to try to change the, um, the hierarchy between the simple um, waitress and the sculpture of the Khalif from the bath, from the palace, and uh, all, the, all the dancers. And the idea was to try to um, try the, to change the perspective of uh, the visitor's perspective, trying to make some create some confusion, uh, presenting the sculpture of a uh, waitress uh, related to the status of the. from the palace. Um, um, actually, it works also in a matter of uh, aesthetics. It's the same idea presenting a, a, a painted sculpture like it was in the past. All the sculptures from the Isham uh, uh, Palace are made for stu from stucco, but are painted. They were originally painted with uh, many, many colors. And we're trying to create a dialogue between uh, high culture and popular culture and new interpretation and again to make some confusion um, between them. And uh, yeah, like you said before, the relationship between uh, contemporary art and archaeology and uh, something that's very new and something that's very old and, uh, and also something that was, uh, I mean archaeology in a sense, all archaeology in a sense is, is found objects. It's objects that you find in the ground. But this is, also something that Alona Bode, the artist, uh, found in, at a local restaurant next to her home, and she actually brought it from there. So it's interesting to see the many similarities, but also the difference between this piece and the archaeology around it. And it's a matter of uh, to trying to mislead the visitor's eye, uh, trying to create the confusion and really asking the question what is really um, contemporary art and its relation to archaeology. And the next piece, follow us. So this next piece is a piece by an artist called Shai Idaloni. And it's, uh, it's a piece that's, uh, that's made from uh, very different, uh, many kinds of objects, household objects, toys, souvenirs from uh, all kinds of places, even souvenirs from holy places. There's uh, this from a little souvenir from a church in this area, and uh, this is a piece of a child's toy, and all these various objects from his home and his studio uh, have been put together layered together and uh, glued together with a ceramic, uh, with a ceramic molding, uh, molding carpet, molding paste, and then uh, cut and sanded. And the resulting piece uh, reminds us very much of the kind of, uh, of uh, 
ground surveys taken by geologists or archaeologists and uh, it shows a very, very layered structure that it actually took about a month to complete. Usually when uh, you see this uh, uh, la <coughs> layers of ground taken at a survey, uh, they usually represent a period of time that's between uh, millions of years and uh, many, many billions of years or millions of years. And this is actually a piece that represents maybe a month in the life of the artist, the time that it took him to make this piece. And uh, <coughs> it's very interesting to see the relationship between the contemporary uh, objects and the way they, uh, they are deposited inside the sculpture and, uh, and all the original uh, archaeological artifacts uh, and the way they, they, their relationship is to the places that they were found and the relationship they have to the ground, to the soil, uh, which is, I think, uh, one of the things uh, about this piece. It also uh, relates very much to the methods of archaeology working, as uh, Ina said before. It's another way to approach uh, the archaeology thing. It's not only approaching uh, pieces from the museum, but also different methods and ideas which are, in, which are involved of, in archaeology. Talk a little bit about the roof. Uh, we all we try to have a relationship between the, the, the art objects that we put inside the room and the room itself. This room actually holds the lintels of, uh, of the Church of the Sepulchre from the old city of Jerusalem. Uh, so uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, special kind of display, and um, we wanted to have something that would uh, work at least formally. Uh, very, very uh, laying down some of the lintels that you see here are very, very horizontal. That's the way the room is built. And there are these uh, capitals. The capitals of the 12th century. The 12th century uh, Roman capitals. capitals. But they, all of them lack a, a, uh, the, the pillar, the central pillar that they used to stand on. And uh, adding the, the artist added this uh, missing piece to the room and making the, formally making the room more complete. Uh, let's go maybe and see how it is. This one is called Slide Up, and uh, it was interesting for us to work with the archaeological display and actually plant pieces of contemporary art inside the display cases, the, the original cabinets of the museum. Uh, first of all, the relationship between the still objects that, uh, that are not moving, and actually may, most of them have not moved in over 80 years, because this is most of it is the original display and the moving image. And also with the, the subject matter that Chabon Glasgow uses, uh, works with is uh, often about uh, soil, digging in the earth, archaeology, excavation. This piece with the two heads that are buried in the sand, chewing bubblegum in a kind of endless loop, uh, invokes a kind of very, uh, maybe, dreamlike or mythical landscape, some sort of mythical punishment, maybe like uh, Prometheus or Sisyphus. They're just uh, these disembodied heads that are resting on the soil, chewing bubblegum for all eternity, that connected, uh, at least in our minds, very well with some of the archaeological uh, objects that, that we have around here. And this is a... Do you want to say something about it? I think maybe we can see another few pieces, just naming the names. Um, we have a triptych. My little doom. 
by uh, Bianca Eschel de Gershoni, a very prominent and important artist, Israeli artist in her uh, early 80s, um, um, evoking many issues of uh, uh, magic and uh, magia and mystics related to many objects from the Canaanite um, period which are also uh, um, um, uh, religious objects related to also to magic. We have also a piece of, uh, uh, piece of by Hanana uh, Hussein, inspired also by Isham uh, uh, Palace, uh, called um, Lifa uh, installation. Made from lifa, which is a, a natural material from a tree that's used to uh, to scrub, to scrub the body, and it's made from lifa and cement. And actually, the concrete hardens the soft lifa into something that's uh, that's used to create this decorative uh, carpet. Yeah, it's a very nice by Tad Frank Squad. It's a couple of uh, Playmobil uh, heads, toys, the, the little toys, children toys, uh, converted into kind of helmets, um, having all this transformation, trans transformative material, um, and the size, of course. More? <laughs> this is a piece by an artist called Guy Zagulski, who's uh, uh, one of, uh, again, one of the more uh, established mid, uh, mid-career artists. Uh, he, uh, this piece is called 4x4, and as you can see, it's a, an arrangement of, uh, of jeeps uh, in a kind of... Uh, Kind of, uh, well, kind of uh, like they're like they're parked in a military or or, 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 or compound, and, and uh, this piece is made from aluminium, cast aluminium. It's taken uh, children's toys and cast them in aluminium, and uh, they are soaked in, in the water up to this level, and you can see the corrosion and all the different uh, effects that the water has on the uh, on the piece. And uh, again, I think it's a play with, uh, with time, and uh, it's taking something that's very common in ho household, like it's plastic toys, and casting them in aluminum, which is uh, metal. And also then again, adding this element of corrosion by water, and submit, submerging them, like something that is submerged under water, under ground for, for a long period of time. And creating something that's, again, contemporary with plays with the Thank you very much. And you're welcome to visit Rockefeller Museum of Archaeology. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.